Hey guys, it's uh, IT Ops Guy. Well, um, I wanted to show you how to get started monitoring IIS. Um, a lot of times what you see when you add a new IIS server is you're going to get an error message that looks a lot like this one. Um, telling you that SolarWinds can't connect to the remote host, you need to check WinRM and do all this stuff. And uh, you can go and do all that stuff and it will work just fine. Um, but SolarWinds actually has a secret weapon. And I want to show that to you. If you come up here and you go edit application monitor, you're going to see this right here, configure the IIS server. So as long as you are set up um, with your credential and you're good to go, you can just click on configure server. It'll test those credentials and then do all of this remotely. Now you need a couple things in order to make this happen. Remote management is number one on that list. Uh, so when we set up our domain in our lab, go back and look, I actually set up a GPO that turns on WinRM, it turns on remote management, um, and it allows any box inside of my little VLAN to control all those things. Um, so I know this is gonna work because of those previous GPOs that I put in play. And now you can see that it is configuring the server. It says it's gonna take a few more minutes. Let's just let it do its thing. And now it's gonna test the config. All right, and it says that it completed successfully. So let's go ahead and run a test ourselves. All right, and it looks like it's good to go. So from here, I'm just gonna go ahead and click Submit. And the problem was solved for us by SolarWinds.